Do you mean, then, that your brother knew of the necklace beforehand? Oh, Miss Crawford, that was not fair. Knew of it. It was his own doing entirely, his own thought. I am ashamed to say that it had never entered my head, but I was delighted to act on his proposal for both your sakes. I will not say that I was not half afraid at the time of its being so, for there was something in your look that frightened me, but not at first. I was as unsuspicious of it at first. Indeed, indeed I was. It is as true as that I sit here. And had I had an idea of it, nothing should have induced me to accept the necklace. As to your brother's behavior, certainly I was sensible of a particularity, I had been sensible of it some little time, perhaps two or three weeks. But then I considered it as meaning nothing, I put it down as simply being his way, and was as far from supposing as from wishing him to have any serious thoughts of me. I had not, Miss Crawford, been an inattentive observer of what was passing between him and some part of this family in the summer and autumn. I was quiet, but I was not blind. I could not but see that Mr. Crawford allowed himself in gallantries which did mean nothing. 